Oh, my spirit didn't say that it was over. My physical said, y'all done. So what do you do with that? Um, what were you thinking that night of? The night of it happened, when we got back home, you was in your shower. You helped me get in the bed. He literally had to pull my clothes off of me and put me in the bed because I could not believe this happened. Why? We, there was no saving. Okay? There's no savings to not to fix a transmission. Not to buy another diesel dually 3500 right? Is that what it is? Flatbed. It, it's a big truck. They, there's no money in the savings to buy another one to fix a transmission. And we'll talk about the savings account thing in just a second. But so he literally had to pick me up, help put the kids in the bed. The kids were tired. There was no talking back. There was no crying. There was nothing. This house was heavy. He put me in the bed and I did my little quick video saying how I felt. And he got in the shower. But what were you thinking when we finally made it back? So I'm just kept telling me over and over that it'd be all right. So I was literally trying not to think about it because it wasn't, I didn't have an answer. So it wasn't there for me to try to figure out. So literally I was just trying to focus on what I was supposed to do in order to keep moving forward. So. Yeah. And we were in two different mental mind spaces at the time. And that's... But at the same time, we were the same. Because... And I say that because you said you had no thoughts. And I honestly had... It's like... This... This spirit and this spirit. This spirit is like, what did I do? Da, da, da. But then this spirit was like, just stop it. Sis, you don't know. You know, I even told you I'm at a loss for words. I'm at a loss for thought. I don't want to think. I don't want to speak. I just want to. I just. Don't, I just don't know. So we went about our regular life doing what we are supposed to do. At this point, it was above us. Well, it's above us. Don't, right? So he just woke up and went to work. Uh, and no, it wasn't that simple, actually. But we knew, we'll tell y'all guys about that in a minute. But we knew that it, I had to get up and raise these children still. He had to get up and provide still, and go to work. I still had to cook, clean. We still had to go on with homeschooling. He, we still had things to do. So, we went to bed. He slept here on the couch. I slept in there with Judah because Judah, I, he, just, he just wanted me to spread out and just to rest and he wanted to spread out and he just wanted to rest and we gave each other hugs kisses we did our separate he slept here i slept there and everybody just slept and the house was it's weird it was a heavy it was heavy but somewhere we kind of knew it would be okay some way and that was even if the journey was over honestly next day we woke up super early like hecka early because we all had to get up and take the truck back that he let us borrow and we also had to figure out how we we're going to tow the truck right so being zay you know he said i'm gonna figure something out called the guy that works with them borrowed his truck tried to they take borrowed his um trailer and took the truck that we were borrowing to put them two together to go get our truck to bring the truck here. Okay. I'm going to... That didn't work. It didn't work. I'm going to insert that video here. As you saw, that didn't work at all. Our truck was way too heavy, so we had to tow. Towing is expensive. Why? <laughs> Why? Okay, so finally got the truck towed here, back here, until we could figure out what we're going to do or what the most high is going to show us to do. 
all that finagle and finagling, whatever. Anyways, they went to work. I came back here. I can. I was exhausted. I could barely move through my day, just from just being tired. Not because I'm trying to figure it out, but at the same time, I do have thoughts, which is why you have to protect your the things that you see and things you think because the mind is still very strong. So I was just tired. I ended up many kids ended up going back to sleep. Uh, no homeschool work was done that day. By the time I woke up, it was time to feed them, head back, and pick up honey at work. Now, let me go back. I missed a point that is very, very pivotal to this uh, story. When we were trying to tow the truck ourselves, a guy, I was sitting in the truck nursing real quick, but I saw a guy talking to Zay. I'm like, why is this man talking to him? He said he doing something. I'm like, this man going to want some money. That's what he, he, this man wants some money. So I walk up with a baby in my hand looking like I'm not in the mood. I'm looking like I'm not in the mood. But before I could open my mouth, I had a quick story from the Bible came in my head. You can read it for yourself. But Elijah was sent to a widow who pretty much had only a little bit of food left to feed her and her son. And then she did plan on dying after that because she knew that that's all she had left to. It was a famine back then. Right. And, uh, but... The Most High instructed her to feed Elijah with the last that she had left. And she obeyed. And from obeying, she was able, uh, her food never ran out at that point. Right, Zay? Okay. So that story came to my head. And I'm like, of course, the old me would have thought, this dude see us over here trying to pull this truck. We on the side of the road. One kid on my hip. Three others over here running around need to be in somebody's school while we're trying to get this truck seeing this man struggling needing to get to work whatever so the guy was telling us pretty much how he don't have long story short he don't have no gas money to make it to chattanooga he got 32 cents i'm like my mind tell me which i'm learning that it's just not my mind it's the spirit of the most high told me reach into your pocket whatever you got give to him Mind you, we don't have, we may have had 60 bucks to last us for a week. Food, gas, de oh, we don't need these or the truck broke down. But food, gas, whatever the kids may need, all that, right? But the Spirit told me, dig into your pocket, whatever you have, give to him. You, you, what you got, he got. What that man got, you got. And I mean, sorry, what you got, that man got, because he's your brother. We're all children of the most high. So, you know, the regular me is like, I hope this is just a dollar or five dollars. But the other one is like, oh, wait, you know. So I dig in my pocket, pull it out. It was a whole 20. And I had to give it to him. And I was, I didn't hesitate though. I took it out. I was like, here, sir, I hope you make it to Chattanooga. But we're going to get going so that we can get this truck figured out. And may God bless you. May God bless you. Be safe out here. That was that. That was it. I thought none of it. I just like, obey, Amber, obey. Okay, now we can move forward. So, um, with that being said, we finally got it done. Zay got to work, whatever. And like I told you, I was tired, whatever. Took Zay to work. Pick Zay back up. We just went through the motions of our day at this point. Do you agree? We had no answers. So, that night, we finally all make it back home. First, I, I was on Instagram and I was just telling people what was happening. Champagne hurt. All my Instagram family know and Champagne is the truck. Champagne down, y'all. She down. I think she dead. Champagne is dead. <laughs> like I said, all I want right now is, and I'm trying to eat better, but all I want right now is a burger and a nice, some fries and some real bad drink. Because drink makes me break out, but I want some drink right now. A sis just sent me some money to go feed my family to get some real bad food go to the best burger joint you can find and you eat that burger sis and you get them fries you get them baby some drink too like and we did exactly that and that was enough for me thank you thank you most high for kissing me through my sis got back home 
another sis of mine that I've never met in, in person, but we've been friends, uh, besties for two years on uh, through social media. And she just all of a sudden inboxed and texted me. It's like, I ain't heard from you and I haven't checked on you and you ain't checked on me. So I'm just checking on you, you know, see how you're doing. I know I'm doing most of the talking, babe, but I mean, you can. I ain't complaining at all. He's not a, he a big talker. He really is. He just don't like talking to the camera. He think it's he think we ain't talking to nobody. That's not true. What That's is not it? True. It's, just, it's just weird. It's your thing. That's all. Okay, I keep talking. So, sis checked on me and said, "Hey, sis, how y'all doing over there?" You know, and I was like, "Sis, we still blessed. We're going through a rough spot, but we still blessed." And so, she didn't. And she didn't text me back or nothing. And normally, I wait on people text message because I be I be ready. You know, I don't talk to other women often because I'm always talking to kids and, and my baby here, you know, and my mama. When another sis, I'm like, ooh, girl time, girl, ta- girl chat. So I was looking at her, but she never texted me back. Um, I fell asleep, right? Woke up to a ding by the pillow. And with that ding, I heard, I was like, who is this at 5, 5.02 in the morning? What do they want? A random person, I still don't know who they are, off of my Instagram page, was like, hey, I follow you on Instagram. I want to see you a token of love. Out of nowhere, what's your cash app? I was like, oh, thank you. That's sweet. My cash app is, because we needed it. I'm not, I don't have time for no ego or no pride or saying, oh, we good. I don't, we not. We ain't. I'll take it. Thank you. You know? And so, I'm like, yeah, we're not okay. You know, I'm telling myself that. And I'm like, thank you. I really appreciate it. Sending the cash app. And I still, to this day, don't know if it's him or her. I don't know. I still don't know this person. But, I'll be all blessed us again through others. And we appreciate it. And they was like, and I love those babies. And they sent, they said, now go look at your cash app and see if you got it. Look at my cash app. I figure I nurse him while I'm doing this. Started nursing. Look at my cash app. I still have sleep. There was money in there. I had no idea. I'm not going to disclose any amounts or anything like that because that's not the per point. The point is this testimony, y'all. I mean, yeah, I want you. He wants you to lean on him. Okay. I said, uh 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 uh. Zay, he's on the couch. He, he's on the second day on the couch. Okay, we just spreading out. Everybody just needed space. Zay, I need to talk to you, right? Babe, you need to see this, and you got girl for work. When I told you what was in that account, what did you think? I thought you was playing. And it said. I'm filling in for you. I want. I don't want to lie. Hold on, y'all. So this is gonna fill the gap for something like yeah. that. Yeah, it's. I'm looking it up for y'all. So she said, um, "You're on my mind. Just sitting, checking in, send some uh, some love, a hava." And I told her we was going through a rough patch. But we're going to make it through. But we had a great time on mom's birthday. So she said she had no clue what was going on with us. Because we tried to keep up with each other. She said so she did decide to Instagram stalk me. And decided that saw the champagne was down. And y'all immediately told, her, immediately told her what to do. I'm not going to cry again. And that he is amazing. As a community, we are the blessings that each other are looking for, which is so true. And just like I love on her and her and her 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 her, her children and her whole family, the mama, the husband, I love all of them. She wanted to love on us, you know. And the fact that we've never seen each other face to face, but we have this love for each other. We just do. So, 
she instagram stalked long story short and saw the champagne was down and she like i said yeah i told her exactly what to do and she did it and she obeyed and on the cash app description it says the sisters just fill the gaps we filled each other gaps and that was exactly what we needed to put champagne in the shop to get her at least started you know and the fact that we didn't even try to fix it we just threw our hands up we surrender ourselves our, any pride any anything any thought we surrendered ourselves to his will do what you need to do y'all do your thing because can't nobody do it like you he came through that's not even it that's not even all the story so we held on to that took a little bit of it and bought a tank because we can't move the rv and we have sewer that we have to dump and you have to move your rv to the sewer we can't move the rv because champagne gone right it was able to get us back you said you thought i was playing i could be a jokester but i showed you and like what else did you think though before we move on to the next part of the story no, that night I was actually that that same night before I woke up. I prayed, and the only answer I got was, "I will provide." And in that, I accepted that, and I went to sleep. Mm -hmm. And then when I woke up, I thought it was a joke because I thought she might have heard, I heard me praying. praying. Like, but I didn't. Be. I was like, "How do you even know?" Did you even pray out loud? Yes, I did. I didn't hear, I didn't hear nothing. So, but long story short, I thought it was a joke because I thought she heard what I, what me and most I had our little conversation, but that's not what happened. What happened was the people who were supposed to hear that prayer on the opposite end listened and they provided. The most high provided through them through for them. us. Because the most high provides, right. I that that night I didn't say a prayer because I was just exhausted. And I don't want to say any wrong things. So I left it in my head as thank you. I'll be out for another day. I'll praise this and good night. That's all I left it at at as. So we got up and we felt blessed for it was like Thank you, y'all. I know it ain't all of it that we needed, but it's like a quarter of what we need. And it's a great start. And we are thankful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Like, we was just like, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, you know. <laughs> now, mom paid for the kids' swimming classes, so we went on ahead and, uh, quietly. So, mom paid for the kids' swimming classes, so we went on ahead and went on about our day. He went to work. We did the same old thing we do every time on this particular day because there's schedules schedule things on certain days and um she was checking in on us again and i was like thank you sis again thank you for obeying the most high and she asked us how much you think it's gonna cost to get it all the way fixed and i was like a lot a whole lot more <laughs> but we're not putting no numbers out there today a lot more but this is fantastic thank you <laughs> like woo is help us so put my swimming suit on i'm still texting her paying for the swimsuit on we got ready to go we left for class whatever and she was like um we were just talking i got out of swimming class my phone was on the bench just in case they need to call us about the other kids that was in the daycare or whatever we got out of the pool wrapping my towel around my phone was dinging so much who is this and what do they want to keep digging my phone <laughs> you know i looked and the first thing i saw on my phone was a quick message that said um don't be upset with me but i put a word out on youtube sis we got you i'm like i didn't even think normally my old self would be like i put my business out there like that make me look poor 
and broke. But I was. It is what it is. But I honestly didn't think that at all. I was like, what does she mean? And then there was 65 cash out. totaling exactly what we needed to fix champagne so far champagne is still in the shop as we make this video she don't come out for another what four or five days should be thursday today is sunday so champagne's still in the shop and we're praying that it's no more no much more than what he quoted but you know worldly people can be a little it was a little more than what i told you but that's not the point in that moment, all I could do was do an ugly cry in the shower while I bathed me in pain. I really didn't bathe her much. She just really stood in the hot water while I sat there and just cried, cried. He didn't really understand what was on my phone. I told him, she put us on YouTube, baby, and people are, are donating. Remember? And not only are they donating, they're subscribing to our channel as well. You know. No words. None. Only thing I can continue to remember is what is on that. Oop. What is on that sign right there. I always look at that. And on that sign it says. There is. Hold on. Let me fix y'all. And on that sign it says, there is no failure in him. And we have been trying our best to make sure our life is totally surrounded by the most high. Who we are, our culture, and reestablishing who we are as a people in this household. There is no failure in him. And when he came through with a mighty hand. Because all them, none of them people know us. But they all contributed. And their messages on the cash out description was like, we got you Mishpika. Mishpika, you okay? Mishpika is family in Hebrew, okay? One love. I hope this helps. Token of love. Keep doing a great job. We got you. Like, that's all that was on the descriptions of the cash outs. Drop bite. You want to say something? Just to all of those who helped in this time of need, I want to first and foremost show my appreciation and say, Thank you in my humblest voice. Thank you. It was needed. And from someone who normally tries to take care of everything in my household myself, it was kind of a, a humbling moment to show you that even though the Most High will bless you with talents like he did in the Bible, you know, he gave the three different boys, yeah. the three different amounts of talents sometimes it's not necessarily about what you have but what the others have to give to you so i want to say thank you because everybody just means thank you in hebrew for those that don't know um told for allowing the most high to use you to help us to for you to obey the voice and the ruach the spirit that you heard when it came to us when it came to butler's unlocks and our situation and what we needed yes there's people that need more stuff more than we do but the most high just loved on us and we thank you for allowing him and we pray that he bless your household tenfold for you obeying his word and helping us um, in that moment we knew that this journey is not over and we have to go even harder for the kingdom even harder with our children with our family and restoring our culture restoring who we are as a nation a bloodline of people because we are great we were more than just slaves we were kings and queens we are chosen we were only made to be a testimony to his glory and his works 
And I pray that that is what we're doing. I pray that we are being a light. So that's why I had to make the video. I had to share this testimony because what are we doing if we're only showing bonfires and the next national or the next state park and how the kids are free and how we are loving each other and building our marriage in this relationship with the most high if i only just show that and i didn't show our broken down moments and our lows and a friend's husband put a video out and i'm going to tag his video below and i was just scrolling just putting some voice some noise in in the house while i was cleaning up or whatever and I clicked on his to listen to him. And he said, fire is to refine you. You got to go through the fire if you want to be great. You got to go through the fire if you want to be pure. Fire takes out the impurities. A fire will do two things. You will find it multiple times in the Bible. And that is fire will... Um, that shadow make you like you got some on your nose. But it's just a shadow. From the sun going down a little bit it's gone baby fire can either make you perish or refine you and like i said i'm gonna link that below this situation the way that the people came through for us that never even some of them never watched our, show, our videos or know us on instagram but they just came through because the word was put out hey we got family over here that need some help. And they came and they helped. And all of that glory, all 65, and then the next, in, in over two days, it was 77. Okay? 77 people helped. All of that was Abi coming to show us. Yeah, I know Zay can fix some things. But I'm shutting them down right now because I want both of y'all to know, hey, if I don't rock, don't nothing roll. And it, it, it had to go back to me giving that guy money. That was a test. The guys came through. I'm happy that Zay handles himself the way he does. And he can make friends with anybody. He is such a... Zay is the guy okay and so i went from no thoughts and no words from being in distress to no thoughts and no words from his mighty power coming through sweeping us up in two days fixing the problem like that so thank you told i about to everyone that came through and obeyed if as a nation, we can do that with his laws, his statutes, and his commandments, this world will never be the same. So we just wanted to make sure we came and we shared our story. And we pray that we can continue to eventually meet each and every 75, 77 of you one day. Just Cause now I need all y'all hugs. I just need all the hugs. I'm a hugger. I like to cuddle. I'm a hugger. Hold me. I'm cold. <laughs> that's me. And I want to personally hug each and every last one of you. And that's not too much. Nothing is too much to love on our brothers and sisters. And that is exactly what you guys have shown me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So with that being said and done, I hope that this story was a uh, light to you guys to know that nothing is too, nothing is too big for the most high. There's no failure in him. You have to be with him. You have to be with him. And that is following his law, statutes, commandments to be in his house. You have to be in his house. A relationship goes both ways. Do your part. He'll do his. Do your part, you keep his promises. I learned that. I also learned there's no failure in him. I also learned that he's all power. All power. And I also learned to obey. 
and there is nothing too big for me to do if it's in my power to help my brothers and sisters. Thank you. So far, the journey is back on. We are so excited. I'm going to leave it at that. Shalom. Shalom. Thank you.